right, so we're on a C10 uh, LS truck cam swap part one. Um, I already took the air cleaner off, but now I'm going to start disassembling the carburetor. We'll get the carburetor off. Um, once we get the carburetor off, we're going to get the uh, catch can system off. Once the catch can system's off, we're going to get the valve covers off, then the intake. Um, once we're there, then we'll start disassembling the front uh, accessories. But for now, we're going to just slowly start taking this thing apart. Let's get to it. One thing I want to show you guys, I don't know how well you can see that, but the freaking corrosion on that intake manifold bolt. I, I had to swap in here for maybe a year and I only had it sit outside for three weeks one time. It did snow, but it never got driven. And I know that that's another thing I noticed my exhaust pipes were really rusty too. Holy man, I just can't believe that. I thought I'd show you guys that. Um, but also, let me know. Do you want me to? S do you want to see more of an extensive cam swap video, or do you want me to kind of do like I've been doing, but then when I get to like taking the timing cover off, get really in depth about it and more LS stuff, more LS wise in depth, and so you guys know what I'm doing. Let me know. Do you want it more in depth once I get to the cam swap itself or do you want the whole thing to be more in depth? This first video is probably going to be like my regular videos, but let me know. Anyways, let's get back to taking the intake off. We got the uh, valve covers off both sides. Everything looks excellent. So um, from here on out, I'm gonna start taking apart the front accessories um, so that I can get to the front cover. But shoot, this shouldn't take long at all to do the cam swap. Once the cam swap is done, I'll uh, do everything cam related first. 
and then I'll probably uh, take the transmission out so I'll like fire it up um, I ain't gonna be able to drive it obviously because with that stall the stock stall back there she'll she'll lug it down pretty hard but um, yeah I'll do everything cam swap first and then I'll uh, switch the transmission out after that but yeah it's gonna be pretty nasty when we get done but so now I got all the rocker arms loose but basically I'm gonna take every single bolt out and once you take that out you can take your your tray which is down here and all the rocker assembly and you can take the whole thing out as one so I'm gonna take that out as one get it set on the bench and uh, work on the other side we're getting a lot closer all we're gonna do is pull a balancer off the timing cover and the other side rocker arms off and then we're pretty much pretty much ready to do the cam swap let's get to it all right guys so i got the rocker arms and the rocker arm stands with all the push rods too we are golden on push rods everything's fine everything looks fine with the rocker arms i checked all the tips with my finger and stuff we ain't got no marks in them so that's good now all we have left to do is get that balancer off and pull that front cover off and then we can take the cam gear off and take the cam out but uh I got to do springs yet, which I don't have. I have the cam, so I'll be able to put the cam in and everything. But um, other than that, this is going a lot smoother than I thought. So, 
All right, so I had to switch back to my old camera here, so if that's why it looks different, that's why I was running out of space on the new one. Um, here's a three jaw puller I got from Harbor Freight. I'm gonna attempt to pull a balancer off. Um, I just took the bolt out, or the center bolt that holds it on, and then I got the jaws hooked on the little marks, and then I'm gonna thread that rod in and pull it out. So I'm not gonna record this because it'll be very hard to record it, so I'm gonna just get the harmonic balancer off, and then I'll tell you what I had to do to get it off, if I had to do anything different. But other than that, let's get this off and then we can get this front cover off and get that cam out. Well, only because my tools are not the right tools for the job, I'm going to have to end this here. Um, we're going to have to pull the cam out tomorrow. I ordered tools for the spring uh, valve springs and for the um, harmonic balancer. Uh, they're specialty tools, so once those come in, We'll make a part two to this video. Uh, we'll get really in depth with taking the camo and doing the valve springs, that kind of stuff. So you guys can learn about that. But um, other than that, only because I don't have the right tools, we're gonna have to end this thing here. So that'll be it for today's video. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. There's lots more LS content to come. We gotta get this thing cam swap fired up. We gotta get a different transmission in here and stuff. So. Please subscribe, comment, like, turn on post notifications so you can see every time I post. And thanks for watching again. We'll see you in the next one.